My name is Bruce Cummings. I'm the head coach of the Baltimore Warhawks. Um, the National Public Safety Football League, um, each team in the league has uh, a designated uh, charity that they donate their funds to uh, around the league. So not only uh, we're first responders and uh, we play football, but we also uh, donate uh, proceeds to numerous charities around the country. Uh, this year, uh, we have a, a lot of new players on our team. Um, I believe we probably have close to 15, 20 uh, new guys. So our main focus uh, this offseason is to get these new guys acclimated to what we do on offense and defense. And make sure these guys understand uh, our game plan when we going into the game. Offensively, I think our strengths is, is definitely our speed and our athleticism outside. We definitely have a lot of uh, receivers that can also play running back uh, and give us a, a different dynamic to the offense by you know using them as running backs at wide receiver positions. We also uh, carry a, a big offensive line this year. I think that will be uh, crucial to our development as an offense is getting the offensive line together and being able to gel uh, to be able to uh, be good up front. Defensively, um, we heard that linebacker. Uh, we had quite a few injuries um, this offseason. So we're going in uh, as far as our linebacker depth position, kind of a little bit thin. Um, but we should be OK in that area. Uh, defensive line, uh, we're bringing back a couple starters from last year. Uh, defensive line should be good. What we need to get better at, uh, I think, is at the defensive backs uh, position. Um, we have uh, some guys uh, coming back from last year and some new guys coming at that position. So I think defensively, if we get our defensive backs to play a little bit better, I think we'll be one of the top defenses in the league. Tony Camden, people call me TJ. I'm quarterback in Baltimore Warhawk. Uh, my role as a first responder, I work for Howard County Police Department and I'm assigned to their K-9 unit. I work night shift patrol and respond to drug scans, uh, people tracking, B&Es, robberies, things like that. This year is our breakout year. We have a solid six game schedule, most of which are at home. We have the most participation player-wise that we've ever had and we have the talent. So this year is our breakout year. We expect to win the majority, make the playoffs, and get a ring for Baltimore. Akeem Nelson, defensive tackle, running back, fullback. I work with the Baltimore City Police Department. I'm a police officer, and I work in the Southwestern District. And basically, my number one concern and priority is um, saving the citizens, but giving them protection, providing security and comfort, so um, each other can, can sleep at night. Right now, the crime, rate, the crime rate is tremendously high. So, um, you know, I put in long hours of work day by day, you know, training. And basically, we just want to be out there, you know, protect the people from the bad guys. As you can see, the, the murder rate and the, and the crime rate is extremely high in the city. So, um, the people are real cautious and they, and they want protection. And so, um, I take pride in working every day, working hard every day, and showing, the, and showing the people that we care and that we are here to protect them. The first, the first goal as a team, period, is to develop as one. We come together as a team, camaraderie, have respect for each other, because our actions on the field is a display of what we do out on the streets. And we are here for the people, we play football for the people, as you can see that we're playing through our, our charity foundation. So it's all about supporting the people and becoming one. As a team and as individuals, we can grow as, grow as men together. My third 
for a year been leading on this team. So my first responsibility is to make sure my guys are ready to go to, to go to battle. Every day we step on that field, every day we come to practice. My goal is to make sure everyone knows their assignment and responsibility. Um, we plan on being real, 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 very physical this year, very physical, very aggressive. We have the plan to do it. Um, we just got to make sure the chemistry is together, make sure that we put the work in, as you can see, we're in the gym right now, and um, hopefully we can put some W's up on the board this year. My name is Alfredo Cadiz and I am a running back for the Warhawks. I am currently assigned to Citywide Robbery in Baltimore City. So we, uh, we actually uh, handle all the robberies in the city. Everybody has to get home. And you know, the only way that everybody gets home is just working as a team. It's pretty much the same thing on the field. You know, you don't win if you don't work as a team, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a great experience, you know, working in Baltimore, it, it's it's like no like nowhere else, you know. You, you get, you get hands-on on pretty much everything you need, you need to know and need to learn as far as a police officer goes. And the same thing, I mean, you know, for, for football. Um, you know, there's passion for football in this city, so it, it's good to, you know, to be able to participate in both. Well, my personal goal and uh, team goal is to win. At the end of the day, I mean, we need to win a championship. So, I mean, personal goals that they, they set up for themselves, but most importantly is to win. Well, the purpose of the Baltimore Warhawks is to raise money for the O.J. Brigands Foundation. Um, the O.J. Brigands Foundation is a foundation that uh, provide funds uh, to fight ALS. It has some uh, connection with our uh, Baltimore fan base. Um, as you know, O.J. Brigance, um he was a Baltimore Raven, uh, Super Bowl winner, I think, in 2000, when he uh, received the ALS. Um, and we just started uh, playing paying uh, our proceeds to fight for his uh, organization. Hello Baltimore Warhawks. I am sorry that I couldn't be there in person to help you kick off another season, but I wanted to send you all a word of gratitude by video. As first responders, you put your lives on the line every day to help others. Your selfless acts of bravery and caring for the citizens of our community make the world a safer place. Let me just thank you all first and foremost for your sacrifice. Now I hear you signed on to sacrifice your bodies playing full contact football and fundraising for the Break Dance for Gay Foundation at the same time. Wow. We are honored to be the beneficiaries of your efforts. Thank you all so much and thank you Robert for taking over as president of the Warhawks and continuing the partnership with the Break Dance Brigade. Many of the Ravens tell me that I inspire them. They look to my daily struggles with ALS and are lifted. The truth, though, is that those men inspire me. And so do you, with your daily work and your intent to fundraise for ALS families. Your donation will pay for medical equipment and care for people living with this terrible disease. Thank you. Have a great season. Go Warhawks.